What is up, Alabama Nation? Stacey Blackwood here from the Tide Talk Podcast to talk about a handful of the early enrollees that I believe people are kind of sleeping on here that are part of this 2022 class. So we're going to talk about that here in just a minute. But first of all, I got to give a big shout out to all of you, the viewers. We finally reached our goal of 500 subscribers on our YouTube channel, so we greatly appreciate that. Now help us reach our next goal of 1,000 subscribers by smashing that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and while you're at it, give this video a huge thumbs up. And while you're sitting there uh, on our YouTube channel, jump in the comment section and answer today's question who is your sleeper for the class of 2022 like i said jump in the comments give us your answer i can't wait to see what everybody has to say about that all right so let's just jump right into the video uh you know like i said we're going to be talking about three sleepers from this class of course ty simpson jihad campbell jeremiah alexander all those guys are receiving a lot of love and a lot of attention and for great reason they're all great prospects they are probably going to have great careers at Alabama and I cannot wait to see those guys you know garner the crimson and white uniform but I want to talk look at these three other players that I don't think are kind of getting the kind of love they deserve I think they're going to be impact guys maybe not right away but sometime down the road they're going to make an impact for the University of Alabama and Nick Saban and that is Aaron Anderson Elijah Brown and Sean Murphy now I know all these guys are four-star prospects so kind of just bear with me because it's hard to find sleepers in a Nick Saban recruiting class because he recruits nothing but four and five stars. But I'm looking at these these three players because I, I think Aaron Anderson is a speed wide receiver that Alabama really is needing. You know, he, he can play the slot. Uh, he can play the X. He, he can play all over the field, I believe. And I think he's a guy who can make an impact. And he may make an impact this fall or maybe even this spring when spring practice rolls around. So I think he's a guy, a four-star prospect, you know, around the fourth or fifth rank, ranked wide receiver. I think he is a guy who you could see make an impact. The next guy is Elijah Brown, a four-star tight end prospect. Of course, Amari Black is is the you know most highly coded uh, tight end prospect we we uh, have in this class. But I believe Elijah Brown is a guy who's who's not great at anything, but is just really good at everything from a tight end position standpoint. So I think he's a guy who may not splash or wow anybody, but I think he is a really solid player who's going to have a good long career for Alabama and probably even move on to the next level as well. So I really like Elijah Brown too. I think he's a guy that a lot of people are sleeping on. And then I look at linebacker Sean Murphy. Sean Murphy has been a, one of my favorite prospects of the class of 2022 for about two years now. I think he's an explosive inside linebacker. He reminds me of Rashawn Evans and the way he played the inside linebacker position. And I really think that Sean Murphy is going to be uh, an elite college football player before it's all said and done. So I'm really excited about all three of those guys. I would love to hear who you believe is a sleeper that is a part of this class of 2022. Now, all these guys that I looked at are all – early enrollees and that's kind of why I want to do this video because we're going to see all these guys here in just a few weeks when Alabama begins spring practice so uh, we're really excited about that we're excited that we reached 500 subscribers we cannot thank you enough for making that possible and like I said if you're not subscribed already I don't know what you're waiting for help us reach our next goal of 1,000 subscribers here on our YouTube channel that's going to wrap up today's episode I really appreciate everybody tuning in and until next time roll tight